Sometimes the transportation cost may increase because of more material, right? So based upon the situation, it fluctuates. So if you're ordering more, you'll get more discount. If you're ordering less, you'll get less discount. Carrying cost is just not only the transportation cost, the carrying cost, it also includes this many expenditures. That is the space area used for storing the material. 2 into 600 into O. So what is the ordering cost? So ordering cost is 12 per order. Hello everyone, I am Arun Kumar, lecturer in Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashtam First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Dear students, welcome to this new session, that is session 2 on unit number 2, that is material costing. So dear students, in the last session we discussed about what is material costing and uh, what is, you know, the types of material costing we have and different levels of material costing. So dear students, in this particular session, we are going to learn about what is this economic order quantity. So for what we are going to call economic order quantity. In short, we are going to call it as EOQ. What we call? We are going to call EOQ. So economic order quantity, that is EOQ, is the most economic or the most favorable or ideal quantity of material to be ordered or purchased in each order at time whenever fresh supply is required. Yes, economic is all about being stable. So if you want to run a proper unit, if you want to run a proper production activities, then obviously you're supposed to order a proper goods, proper raw materials. So while you are ordering or while you are purchasing a particular material, always you should have to order in a economic order quantity so that you'll be having a sufficient material to run the show that is to run the productional activities that is called economic order quantity. So the ordering quantity is generally determined after taking into account the cost of ordering and the cost of carrying inventory. A large order brings in more trade discounts. A large order brings in more trade discount and results in reduction in transportation cost and in ordering cost. But it may result in overstocking and increase the carrying cost and vice versa. So any ideal ordering quantity should be determined by balancing the cost of ordering against the cost of carrying stocks. So here, if you are ordering the products or the material to the business entity. If you order more, if you order more, obviously you'll get more discount and sometimes the transportation cost also will be reduced. Sometimes the transportation cost may increase because of more material, right? So based upon the situation, it fluctuates. So if you're ordering more, you'll get more discount. If you're ordering less, you'll get less discount. And if you're ordering less, the transportation cost will be more. If you're ordering more, the transportation cost will be less. So the vice versa, that means based upon how we are ordering, whether you're ordering more or whether you're ordering less, based upon the cost of carrying and the cost of discount, everything will be decided. So what we are supposed to do by keeping it in mind, by keeping it in mind about the cost of ordering, we are supposed to order the quantity or the material in ideal ordering quantity so that in economic order quantity so that we are going to balance the cost of carriage and the cost of material so this is about the economic order quantity next economic order quantity the ordering quantity is also dependent on the following factors so the economic order quantity it is dependent on the following factors that is average or normal consumption of material during the year. So what is the average and normal consumption of the material? So based upon the consumption of the material, we are going to order the material. If they are using more material, then obviously we'll be ordering more and more for the production purpose. If they are producing less products, then we will be ordering very less material. So the economic order quantity is based upon the average or normal consumption of material during the year and the second thing is maximum level of stock so if you have more stock then sometimes we are not going to order until we clear the stock 
right so it is also based upon the maximum level of stock and minimum level of stock again minimum level is all about if you have less stock you are going to order more if there is a shortage of stock if you have only minimal of material to produce the product we are going to order more products that is more material so based upon the average and normal consumption of material based upon the maximum level and minimum level of stock this economic order quantity will be decided carrying cost yes what is this carrying cost so carrying cost sometimes we think that okay transportation cost will be called as carrying cost it also called carrying cost is the cost of holding the material in the store and includes yes carrying stock is nothing but holding the material in store and it also includes what it includes cost of storage space so we need space to store the material right we need space to store the material so the cost what we are spending on the storage space it is also called carrying cost bins and racks that have to be provided for storage of materials bins and racks that have to be provided for storage of material so if you are receiving the material you are supposed to arrange a place in that place you should have to arrange bins and racks to store that material next the cost of maintaining the materials to avoid deterioration that means to avoid unnecessary cost for storage of the material and cost of spoilage in stores and handling the cost of spoilage in stores and handling the cost of obsolescence and the amount of interest payable on the money locked up in the materials and insurance cost so the carrying cost is just not only the transportation cost the carrying cost it also includes this many expenditures that is the space area used for storing the material and the bins and racks used for storing the material and cost of maintenance of the materials and cost of spoilage in the store and handling and the amount of interest payable on the stored material and the insurance cost these are all the cost which includes carrying cost so next ordering cost now what is this ordering cost ordering cost is the cost of placing orders for the purchase of materials and it includes and it includes so ordering cost is the cost of placing orders for the purchase of the material so whatever the amount we are spending whatever the cost we are incurring to purchase the material that is called ordering cost and it also includes what it includes it includes cost of staff posted in purchasing department inspection and payment department yes cost of staff posted in purchasing department inspection and payment department that also comes under ordering cost and cost of stationery postage and telephone charges yes cost of stationery postage and telephone charges with respect to ordering that also comes under ordering cost next so assumptions in the calculation of eqo what are the assumptions we have in calculation of EOQ so what is this EOQ economic order quantity so the first assumption is price will remain constant throughout the year and quantity discount is not involved yes price will remain throughout the year the price will be the same throughout the year we are not going to change the price and quantity discount is not involved whatever the quantity discounted will not be involved in computation of economic order quantity next second assumption is pattern of consumption variable ordering quotes per order and variable inventory carrying charge per unit per annum will remain the same throughout the year so here the pattern of consumption variable ordering costs per order and variable inventory carrying charge per unit per annum will remain same what is the third assumption there are dynamic conditions of the supply which enable a firm to place as many orders as it needs yes there are dynamic conditions of the supply which enables a firm to place as many orders as it needs so these are all the three assumptions what we have under 
computation of economic order quantity. So we have the formula, we have the formula to compute EOQ. So what is the formula? EOQ equals square root of 2AO divided by C. What is the formula? Square root of 2AO divided by C. So here A stands for what? A stands for annual consumption of materials in unit. Annual consumption of material in unit. O stands for what? O stands for ordering and receiving cost per unit. Ordering and receiving cost per unit. And next C stands for cost of carrying stock per unit per annum. Cost of carrying stock per unit per annum. Or we also have one more formula that is EOQ equals maximum level minus reorder level. Maximum level minus reorder level plus minimum consumption into minimum lead time. Minimum lead time. This is the second formula. But usually we use the first formula. In all the scenarios we use the first formula. So the first problem based on computation of EOQ. So quantity 600 units, ordering cost rupees 12 per order, carrying cost 20% and price per unit rupees 20. So 20% 20 on what? 20% on price per unit that is cost per unit per material. So solution. So EOQ what is the formula? Square root of 2 AO divided by C. So 2 into A is nothing but what? Annual consumption. So what is the annual consumption here? 600 units. So 2 into 600 into O. So what is the ordering cost? So ordering cost is 12 per order. So 600 into 12 divided by carrying cost. C is nothing but carrying cost. Here you can see cost of carrying, carrying cost. So what is the carrying cost? 20%. So 20% of rupees 20. So here you will get if you do 2 into 600 into 12 you will get 14,400 divided by 4 that is 20% of 20 rupees you will get 4. So if you do the calculation you will get 60 units. So what is the economic order quantity? The economic order quantity is 60 units. So very simple if you know the formula easily you can solve the problem. Second one a factory required 1000 units and item per month. So how many they required? 1000 per month. That means for year. So 1000 into 12 months. How much they required now? 12,000. So annual consumption comes to 12,000. Right. Per month. Each costing 30 rupees. The cost per order is 125. And the inventory carrying cost is 10% of the average inventory and find out the EOQ and number of order per year. So solution again the same formula EOQ equals 2AO divided by C. So what is the annual consumption because we are supposed to calculate annual consumption to know A that is annual consumption. So 1000 per month into 12 months you will get 12,000. So 1000 into 12 months 12,000 units is the annual consumption. So EOQ equals 2AO divided by C. So 2 into Annual consumption is how much? Annual consumption is 12,000. Next, what is the cost per order? It is 125. The cost per order is 125. Divided by carrying cost. What is the carrying cost? Carrying cost is 10%. Carrying cost is 10% of cost. That is 30 on 30 rupees. So 10% on 30 rupees. So if you do the calculation, 2 into 12,000 into 125. So you'll get... 30 lakhs divided by 3. Okay, 10% of 30 rupees is 3. So you will get the answer of 1000 units. Though economic order quantity is how much? 1000 units. So number of orders per year that is annual consumption. So annual consumption divided by economic order quantity you will get 12 orders per year. That means annual consumption we only find it out that is 12,000 is the annual consumption. So what is the economic order quantity? It is 1,000. So annual consumption divided by economic order quantity, you will get 12 order per year. This is how you are supposed to solve the problem. So this is about 
how to calculate the economic order quantity that is how to calculate evoq they might ask this question for 5 marks in your main exam they might ask this question for 5 marks in the main exam thank you all for watching the video in the upcoming videos we are going to discuss more about this material costing until then thank you all